Good evening, the Peninsula Seahawks and Ridgeline Falcons welcome you to tonight's game, tonight's playoff varsity girls basketball game. One of the goals of high school activities is learning lifetime values. Sportsmanship is one of those values that makes these games an educational experience. Remember to sport a winning attitude. Good evening, my name is Ron Jacoby and I will be commentating you for this game. Going into this game, the Peninsula Seahawks are ranked number 19, whilst the Ridgeline Falcons are ranked number 14 in this playoff series. The starting lines for both teams for the Peninsula Seahawks. Coming in, we have Daisy P, Macy Miller, Irene Segura, Grace Richardson, and Kalia Hittleberg. Going into Ridgeline's team, we will have Grace Sheridan, Emma Myers, Casey Paskey, Morgan Espinoza Kelly, and Maddie Crowley. The keys for the game for Ridgeline is easily to dominate the post early. The centers dominate the glass when it comes to rebounding and create layups for our guards. Ridgeline has the size advantage on paper, and the tallest player for the Seahawks is 5'11", while Ridgeline has two six players on the roster. Another key is to get a good run into the game early. Our team averages around 55 points a game. If we can go out and score at least 20 points in the first quarter, and our defense holds their own, we have a great chance of winning this game. The keys of the game for the Peninsula Seahawks is to use your experience to your advantage. They have five seniors in comparison to Ridgeline who has zero. If it comes down to the wire in a close game, do not be surprised if that experience is the piece to winning this game. Peninsula is a smaller team. What they need to do well is control the perimeter and don't allow easy threes leading to the game. Now, we will start tonight's introductions. Now we're showing our starting team. Daisy Page. Grace Sheridan, a freshman for Ridgeline High School. Staying at five foot seven, plays point guard and shooting guard. Macy Miller is a junior who stands at five foot five and plays guard. Emma Myers is six foot, plays small forward, point guard, and shooting guard, and is a junior here at Ridgeland High School. Irene Segura, number 10, guard and forward, is a, is a senior at Peninsula. There we have Casey Passy coming up for Ridgeland. Grace Richardson is a junior at Peninsula High School and is five foot nine, plays guard. Morgan Espinoza is a five foot eleven shooting guard point guard small four, isn't a junior here at Richmond High School. Kalia Heidelberg is five foot seven, is a guard and shooting guard, and is a senior for the Seahawks. The last player for the Ridgeline Falcons will be Maddie Crowley, who stands at six foot and plays center, who is a sophomore.
as introductions wrap up, we'll now stand for the national anthem. National Anthem was performed by Ridgeline Jr. Jacob, Play, Jacob Perry, who plays the saxophone here at Ridgeline. As the game be begins momentarily, give a quick shout out to some of our sponsors. Be sure to check out the GSO website, greaterspokaneleague.org, for schedules, quick links to all schools and league information. Go to greaterspokaneleague.org for more information. Give back to high school activities by becoming a referee, umpire, or any sport that needs an official. To learn more, go to greaterspokaneleague.com and click Get Involved. Get involved. The kids need you. The GSL needs basketball officials. Without officials, our kids cannot play games. Please consider joining SBO, Spokane Basketball Officials. New officials make $30 to $75 per game. Get in shape, challenge yourself, work for great people, and with great people, and stay connected to the game we all love. SPO will provide training by our top officials at no charge. Please go to refspokane.com. That's refspokane.com. Over the last few years, we've lost a large number of officials in all sports. Without officials, our kids cannot play. Please consider becoming an official. The kids needs you. That being said, Rich on who's the tip? Peninsula starts out with the ball. Number one, Daisy PC has the ball. Emma Myers guarding her on the perimeter. Kicks out to number 24, Grace Richardson. Grace Richardson up top of the key. Passes inside with Maddie Crowley with a great steal. With a fast break. Steal there by number 24, Grace Richardson. Down the court. Emma Myers guarding her in the perimeter yet again. Number 23 in the post, Casey Paskey. Out to the perimeter. Try and work in size number 10. Segura puts, puts it up off of number 24, Morgan Espinosa, A. Cayley. A great defensive effort there by the Falcons. As Peninsula attempts to inbound the ball with five seconds left on the shot clock. Kicks to number 24. Out to Segura. Oh, who gets rejected by Casey Paskey. With a shot clock violation, the Richland Falcons will now have the ball. With a replay there. Goes inside, tries to get to number 10, tries to make a layup and denied at the rim by Paskey. A great play all around by our defense. The, the Seahawks attempt to go in a half court press. See how it goes for them in the long run. Kicks inside, Crowley puts it up and in. 2-0 to the Falcons. Richardson takes the ball up, guarded by Myers again. High defense there by Myers. Back out, Crowley defending. Three put up, no good. Rebounded there by number 24. Blocking foul. 
by number one, Daisy Peet. As we show Morgan, Cal Morgan Espinoza, she has been an incredible player so far this season. And hopefully her tributes can actually really make a difference for this game going forward. Here's our number 12. Back to Myers. With a three. Off. Back to Paskey. Espinoza on the perimeter. Back out to 12, who's open. Drives inside. Goes for a layup. This is it. Casey with the rebound. Inside of the post. Crowley. This is the close layup. Seahawks have the fast pace right now. Oh, tough shove there by Myers. Trying to fight through the screen there is a good call for the foul. Myers has been playing great defense so far throughout this game. Hopefully that, sh that defense can provide lethal force for this Ridgeline Falcon team. Inside number 10. Tries to work around Paskey. Doesn't have anything going for it. Kicks out. To Attempted to save it was Paskey. Ball's already out. The Peninsula Seahawks will now try and inbound it. Number 24, Grace Richardson will now throw it in. Out to number 10, Irene Segura. Segura to 30. Heidberg with a three. Off the mark, back rim. Richardson with the rebound, kicks it out to number two. Miller bangs it. 3-2 game, Seahawks. Espinosa tries to dribble it. Out to Myers. Back to Sheridan. Sheridan trying to create something. Out to Myers in the three. Espinosa open. Off the mark. 30 with the rebound. Richardson. Myers guarding on the perimeter. Trying to put something on her. A screen is set. Paskey's with the switch. And she's open inside for the missed layup. Tough break there for the Seahawks. Sheridan tries to go inside. Passes into the side to Paskey and makes the layup. 4-3 Falcons. Richardson calling a play for the Seahawks. Double screen's about to be set. Goes to her right, tries to cross up Myers. Myers is not giving up on her part. She's not letting anything through. Back out, Sheridan guarding. This original team's not giving up anything. Oh, top three off the mark. Rebound by number 10, Sheridan. Sheridan trying to look for someone in the paint. Crowley can't get open. Ah, oh, the steal by the Richardson. Tried to create something on a fast break opportunity. Pulls up from three. Good. Make that a two point basket, five to four. Back up to Sheridan. Espinoza. To the paint is Crowley. Oh, open in the corner, Myers. Kick step, back out. Espinoza misses off the mark. Seahawks trying to preserve their energy right now. Three minutes and 25 seconds left to go in this first quarter. Myers putting on a clinic on defense. Not letting anything through. Kelly guarding. Good defense there by Espinoza. Oh, intercepted there by the Seahawks. Slow transition here for the Seahawks. Trying to step up play. Back out to number one. Out on the Seahawks. Rich line ball. Take a minute to mention one of our sponsors. The National Electric Contractors Association and International Brotherhood of Electrical Workers are proud to sponsor the fall, winter, and spring male and female student athletes from each GSL school. NECA and the IBEW train electricians for the future. As Espinosa, oh, nice shot there by Sheridan. Pulling the Ridgeline Falcons up seven to five. Richardson trying to cross up Myers. Myers is an honor. Foul there by Myers. Richardson will go for the line for two. As Richardson shoots her free throws, another shout out to our sponsor, 
Damon Orthodontics, your Spokane neighborhood orthodontist, located north side, valley, and south hill. Call today for a free orthodontic evaluation. When you think about enhancing your smile, think Damon. As we have some subs coming in, Sammy Patch coming up for Emma Myers. Habiba Adams coming in. Adams coming in for Paskey. Free throws in. Tie game at seven. Sheridan out to Sam Patch. Patch trying to drive in out to Sheridan. Sheridan trying to create something on perimeter. Kicks to the top of the key, Kelly. Adams trying to find someone open. Espinoza. Out to Sheridan. Sheridan trying to look for a three, doesn't get it. Out to Crowley. Crowley puts it up. In and out. Seahawks on the fast break. Backer to Richardson. Richardson's guard by Patch. Patch gets screen set on him. Number one. Inside. Tough miss. P with the close one. Out to Richardson. Inside to 30. P on the perimeter. Kicks out to Richardson on the key. Patch on defense. Locking Richardson up. Foul called. Richardson will go back off the line for two. Lamar Advertising is proud to be a sponsor of the Greater Spokane League. For all your outdoor advertising needs, be seen with Lamar Advertising. Alley Insurance Services has served the Inland Northwest for over seven years with comprehensive commercial insurance and employee benefit solutions. Best of luck to our GSL teams from Alley. As Richardson misses her first free throw. Going for her second one right here. Blue from Richland student section. Richardson misses the second one. Rebound by number 10. P at the top of the key. Kicks out to kicks out to 30. She tries to drive in. Puts it up. Good. Seahawks 9-7. Sheridan kicks the ball up. Back out to Espinoza. Sheridan at the top. Trying to find someone open. Back to Espinoza. Sheridan trying to find a three, doesn't get it. Back to Adams. Adams inside. Inside for the two. Easy layup there for Crowley. Great effort there. Great passing. Sheridan at the top of the key. Playing tough Dion Richardson right now. Not allowing anything easy in the inside. 30 puts it up. And it's no good. And it bounces back in. Good bounce there for the Seahawks. 12-9 game. Adams goes inside. Blocked. Adams again with the ball. Foul there. Foul on the shot. Two free throws coming up for Adams. Seven hundred ESPN and one hundred five point three FM are proud to be the home of the Greater Spokane League. Listen to all the Greater Spokane League games, action on the home of the GSL. Seven hundred ESPN and one hundred five point three FM. As we have subs coming in. Number 10, Lydia Lynn checks in. Espinoza, subbed up. Abs goes for a second and makes it. 10-12 game. Sheridan playing tough defense already. Out to Heidelberg. Patch guarding on the perimeter. Trying to create something. Time running down. Patch with a tough D. Nothing easy for him. Ridgeline student section making a seed. They still have time on the clock. Three seconds. Oh, rejected. Good transition D by the Seahawks there. Point six on the clock. Ridgeline has maybe a chance to push easy shot here. Let's see what happens. Quick shot. There it goes at the buzzer. Sheridan, 13-12 game for the Falcons. Tremendous ending for this game, this quarter. Wow. Quarter two will begin momentarily. As we 
John Gantz team performs at the end of the first quarter, I'd like to give a quick shout out to some of our sponsors. Stop into the swinging doors at the corner of Francis and Monroe before or after the game to meet, eat, and have fun. A proud sponsor of the GSL. STCU is a member-owned cooperative cooperative that's been helping neighbors in the England Northwest since 1934. Best of luck from STCU to all GSL teams. Tune into SWX all season long for live local sports, including a full schedule of various Spokane League broadcasts. And Friday nights, make sure to tune in to non-stop local KHQ at 11 p.m. for Overtime, a show dedicated to highlights and features from the GSL and beyond. SWX is a proud partner of the Grace Spokane League. For complete coverage of local sports, visit us at swxlocalsports.com for everything local sports. Perfect. Adams can't make it. Back to Richardson. Oh, intercepted by Adams. On the fast break, Adams trying to create something. Back to Sheridan. Inside to Adams. Tries to put it up. Foul on the play. Foul by number 30, Kalia Hiddleberg. Adams with the first shot, won't go. Second free throw coming up. No substitutions by either teams. Adams with the second shot, makes it 14-12 game for the, CU, for the Falcons. Richardson taking it up, trying to find it inside. Outside back to Richardson. Richardson being guarded by Sheridan. Tight D there. Back up to five. Cuff holds. Two with a shot. Miller makes him downtown. 15-14 Seahawks. Sheridan bringing the ball up. Passes it out. Lynn driving in. Tough break. Crowley with the rebound. Try to put it up. Can't find the rim. Foul on the play. Foul on the Falcons. Foul called on Sammy Patch. Idle Richardson bringing it up the court. Guarded by Sheridan. Patch on the perimeter. Screen set, Patch still on him. Pass off to Richardson. Screen set. Tries to make the two. Off the mark. Rebound by Adams. Adams. Out to Sheridan. Sheridan trying to create something. With a three. Off the mark. Rebound by Adams. Adams can't make it. Take it out to number one, Pay. Pay out to Richardson. Richardson trying to find a teammate. Sets a screen. Gets inside. Adams with a defense. Crowley can't save it in time. Seahawks ball. 11 seconds on the shot clock. 5 minutes and 46 seconds left in the quarter. Heidelberg tries to throw it in. Tries to find Richardson, finds him. Right by Sheridan. Five seconds left from the shot clock. Out to Heidelberg. Who misses, off the mark. Rebounded by Sheridan. Trying to find some transition. Can't find the person they're looking for.
Richardson with a throw in. Into number 10, Segura. Back up to Richardson, who dribbles it up the court. Guided by Sheridan. Screen set by number 10. Segura trying to work on Paskey. Paskey with the defense, but can't get it. Lay it there by Segura. Sheridan bringing up the court. Trying to find something. Finds Espinoza for the three. Off the mark. Back to Richardson. Richardson on Sheridan. Sheridan with the D. Fans calling for a push off there, but pass with the rebound. Sheridan bringing up the court. Trying to create something. Reaching foul by number two, Macy Miller. Paskey with a throw in. Finds Sheridan. Sheridan makes a spin. Picks the three up. Off the mark of the front rim. Tries to get a rebound. Will he get it? Passes it out. Espinoza fights for it. Paskey out to Sheridan. With a three. Won't go off the mark. Pay with the board. Richardson off the court. Seahawks with a timeout. As we go into our head, as we go into timeout, we get a quick start to some of our sponsors. Get your official GSL and school apparel at GarySpokeHamley.org and show your school pride. Eastern Washington University, proud supporter of our hometown teams. STCU and the GSL are partnered to provide GSL championship apparel for GSL league champions in all sports. Join your favorite team with personalized championship apparel when the magic moment occurs. GreaterSpokaneLeague.org is your source for official GSL championship apparel. Peninsula gets the ball at the timeout. Richardson throwing it in. Throws it in to pay. Back to Richardson. Up the court. Right by Sheridan. Back outside to number 30. Heidelberg inside. Tough to use by Sheridan. Richardson trying to pass it inside. Lane with the rebound. Pat. Up to Espinoza. Espinoza tries to drive in. Cause a travel on the play. Seahawks ball 17 14 with 3.53 left. Heidelberg with the throw in. Out to Richardson. Richardson taking up the court. Guarded by Sheridan. ID by Sheridan throughout these first two quarters. Espinoza guarding Heidelberg. Out to Miller. Miller trying to drive in. Out to the three. Pay with a three. In and out. Back to Richardson with the inside. Can't make the bucket. But gets two on the shooting foul. Two free throws coming up. Richardson with the first free throw. Five for six so far. And it's no good. Still a 17-14 game. We're joined fans here screaming. Richardson can't make the second one either. Pass with the rebound. Kicks to Sheridan. Sheridan up the court. Guarded by Miller. Miller. Try and guard Espinoza now. Back up for the three. Sheridan pump fakes it. Drives inside. Paskey inside. Out to Sheridan for the two. Can't make it. Rebound by Heidelberg. Richardson up the court. Back to Miller on the outside. Good D there. Richardson guard by Sheridan yet again. Tough D by Sheridan through these first couple quarters. Lynn guarding Pay. Segura tries to go inside. Tough defense by Myers. 
Richardson puts up the two and makes it at the buzzer. Fans are calling for a travel on that play, but didn't get one. Sheridan taking up the court. Miller guarding on the perimeter. Out to Myers. Myers out to Lynn. Back out to... Back to Espinosa. Casey with the layup, misses it. Out to Lynn. Lynn puts it up for mid-range. Makes it. 16-19. Correction, 19-16 Ridgeline. Losing. Sheridan on the perimeter. Trying to drive inside. Goes for the two, misses. Pascu with the rebound. Sheridan on the fast break. Lynn with the layup. Banks it in. 18-19. Seahawks up by one. Richardson taking it up the court. Guarded by Sheridan. Tough inside presence there by number 22, Ryan Leiby. Sheridan, guarded by Richardson. Screen set by Heidelberg. Inside, takes it in, makes it, and one. 21-18 Seahawks. Checking in for the Falcons, Maggie Crowley. Maddie Crowley, correction, sorry. Richardson with a free throw after the and one. Missed the last two in the last, last attempts. Richardson misses it. Last three for Richardson have missed. The 12, Sheridan. Sheridan to Lynn for the three, won't go. Back to Sheridan. Sheridan out to 22. To 22. Off the mark. Out on the Seahawks. Ridgeline gets the ball with a fresh shot clock and a minute nine left. Crowley with a throw in. Trying to throw it inside. Doesn't get it. Seahawks now have the ball. Taking up the court. Richardson calling a play in the perimeter. Pay guarded by Lynn. Pay drives in. Can't get it to go in the layup. Rebound by Sheridan. Sheridan driving in. Going inside and out. Makes the layup. Up there, sweet move to freeze the D. Richardson taking up the core. 40 seconds left. 21-20, Ridgeline. Losing by one. Back out to Segura. Segura trying to defend... Defended by Paskey, drives in, foul in the play. Foul was committed by number number thirty, Nylon Crowley, Nighty Crowley. First three throw won't go. This first line student section kind of getting to him at this point. Segura with the second one. Misses the second one as well. Free throws are not falling for the Seahawks right now. I shared and brings up the court. 20 seconds left. Blocking foul on the play by Richardson. Sheridan seems to have like a nose problem. Maybe got hit in the nose a couple plays ago. Crowley with a throw in. Sheridan. 17 seconds left. Try and wind the clock down, get the last shot. Pass you. Tries to find someone inside, finds Sheridan on the outside. Tries to drive in, out to Crowley. Crowley drives in. Foul. Jump ball. Called by the referees. The Ridgeline families and student sections are not happy about that call. Richardson with the throw in. Full court press here by the Falcons with six seconds left. Five, four, three, two. Pay tries to make a move on. Puts it up. Can't get it to go. We have a close ball game here. 21 20 for the Seahawks. Teams will go to halftime into the locker rooms. Discuss the next time plays. Now we'll from some of our sponsors Sturm Heating. 
your number one HVAC company in Spokane. The best service in product and heating and air conditioning. Since 1945 and just getting started. Flat Stick Pub, where great food, mini golf, and good times collide to make for an unforgettable experience. Located in the heart of downtown Spokane, make Flat Stick Pub the place to celebrate your team's next big win. Guaranteed to be a whole one. Adams Tractor, Spokane, Coeur Lane, and Lewiston. It's a full-time tractor equipment and Kubota dealership. Serving our area since 1929. This winter, Tackle is the Roads with proud GSL's partner, Tire Rammer and Cooper Tires. More than just a tire store. Best Western Pepper Tree Hotels, located at Spokane Airport and OMAC, Washington, Nam Nampa, Idaho, and now Bend, Oregon. Wherever life takes you, Best Western is there. Arby's Restaurants of Spokane are proud to be a sponsor of the Greater Spokane League, Arby's. The GSL would like to thank and encourage your patronage of all our GSL partners, including Instant Sign Factor, Flying, Tra Flying Squirrel Trampoline Park, Lodestone Wealth Management, Live Day Construction, Village Center Cinemas, and KoogFan.com. Divine's Auto Center, towing, towing, and Fast Mart's 16 locations for all your automotive needs. Locally owned and operated since 1956. Check us out at divinesauto.centers.com. Live work play. Children's Choice Pediatric Dentistry is proud to be a supporter of the GSL. We specialize in pe pediatric dental care for your children, with offices in North Spokane, the South Hill, and a new location in the Brady Lake. Children's Choice is here to provide a lifetime of healthy smiles for your child. Eastern Washington University, proud supporter of our hometown teams. JL Tech, your Spokane area source for custom website coding. When you think about websites, think JL Tech. State Bank Northwest, your local community bank since 1902, with branches in the Spokane Valley, Garfield, and North, San North Spokane, State Bank NW, member FDIC. The Spokesman Review is a proud partner of the Greater Spokane League. For the most complete and award-winning coverage of local sports, go to spokesman.com or northwestpreps.now.com. The Spokesman Review, always essential. Inland Orthopedic Surgery and Sports Medicine Clinic has been providing orthopedic care on the Palouse since 1990 with offices in Pullman and Moscow. Reach out to Dr. Tingstad, Hazelwood, Vandenbos, Taylor, and their staff today to schedule an appointment. Now offering same-day appointments through Ortho, ortho Express Care, Inland, orth Inland Orthopedics is here to serve you. Visit inlandortho.net for more information. Papa Murphy's Pizza. Papa Murphy's Pizza is a proud partner of the GSL, the League of Champions. Pick up a large triple pepperoni pizza tonight. And now we'll be joined here by Mr. Emerson, the Athletic Commission Officer. Uh, Mr. Emerson, what does the boys and girls going to state really kind of mean for our school? Well, it's, it's pretty incredible. I mean, state is a, is a really big deal. There's only 20 teams left in the state that are playing at our level, uh, at the, both the boys and the girls in the 3A division. And so you're essentially the top 20 teams in the state. And all through high school, even when I was going to high school, that level of getting to state is, is a pretty exciting de deal for a school. And um, for both of our schools to do it <laughs> in this year together is pretty cool. And what does it kind of mean for us being like a startup school and already having these teams go to state, even our football team included? What does it kind of mean for a school and what it lives on to be for future generations? Well, <clears throat> it all starts with you got to remember that the first couple of years we took our lumps in a lot of sports. This girls basketball team didn't win a game their first year. And last year made the playoffs and this year we're in the state tournament. And so 
I think it really says a lot about our students because it's, it's hard to get out there early on when we're a young school and you know you might go in and, and get beat up pretty good to stick with it and stay in the program and keep working hard for this. So it's really a testament to their hard work. And how do you think that improvement kind of translates into how they've been playing so far? Because again, they've been playing very competitively throughout any team that they've faced so far. How do you think that kind of translates to how they're kind of doing maybe in school, maybe in the classroom? Well, I think it again goes down to that perseverance piece where, you know, as young of a team as we are, no seniors on our, on our varsity team, they have a lot of experience because they've been playing together. The same girls have been essentially playing together for the last three years because we were so young. So I always look at the correlation between sports in the classroom and, and in the life, and it's just that idea of, you know, the ups and downs, you gotta go through the swings. Um, sometimes it's gonna be tougher than other times. Some games are gonna be easier, some tests are gonna be easier, but ultimately it's gonna be the amount of work that you put into it is what you're gonna get out of it. All right, thank you, Mr. Erickson, for joining us today. Hey, thank you for doing this, this is amazing, and we really appreciate it. You guys do a great job, so thanks. All right, thank you. Seahawks come back on the court. Ridgeline stay on the court for the shoot for the shooting. Crowley, of course, has been a big factor in this one, being an extremely dominant center so far. Defensively, she has set the presence and the tone for what this defense needs to be, especially when it comes to trying to limit the presence when it comes to the paint. Making Peninsula try and get those outside shots, try and create something that's somehow not really there. 
and trying to waste that shot clock even more, which gives our team an opportunity to try and build off of that, to get some easy fast breaks in the long run. And as this third quarter begins, the third quarter starts to begin, the five players on the court will be number 15, Emma Myers, number 23, Casey Passy, number 24, Morgan Espinoza, number 30, Maggie, Maddie Crowley, and number 12, Gray Sheridan. Crowley throwing it in. Score 21-20. Seahawks leading. Out to Espinoza. Back over to Sheridan. Sheridan trying to find someone open. Finds K Paskey. Espinoza trying to find Sheridan. Sheridan going to the right. Paskey on the mid-range. Mid-range shot. No good. Crowley trying to tip it back. Myers can't get there. They're just taking up the key guard by Sheridan. Sheridan putting some tough D on right there. Crowley, Grouden, guarding on the perimeter. Out to Pay. Pay guard by Espinoza. Sheridan. Richardson trying to work around Sheridan. Can't get it. Pay, force fights off on the shot clock. Tries to make something happen. Pay, hucks up a shot, hope for Mia Curl. Doesn't get it. Sheridan, trying to find something. Can't find Paskey in the inside. Intercepted there by Miller. Richardson. Trying to work around Sheridan yet again. Can't find anything around. Screen set by or screen set by Segura. Segura. Trying to work around Paskey. Paskey with a tough D can't get through her. Myers on the fast break. Trying to get that score up. Espinoza. Ridgeline cannot take the lead. Myers with the rebound. Puts it up. Ridgeline up 22 to 21. Richardson taking the ball up. Sheridan guarding. Miller with the screen. Sheridan work, trying to work around. Back out to Garst. Back out to Segura. Segura put guard by Paskey. Paskey putting some tough defense on her. Alaron Paskey on the play. Nine seconds left on the shot clock. Segura throwing it in. Paskey guarding the inbound. Try to find inside. Richardson can't get it. Myers pushing up the court. Trying to find an open teammate. Can't get it. Back to Sheridan for the three. Won't go. Espinosa with the rebound. Back over to Myers. Myers trying to help with the three. Mid-range. Won't go either. Crowley trying to pump it out to the teammate. Can't get it. Richardson trying to take the Seahawks up on the fast break. Timeout by the Seahawks. As we go into timeout, I'd like to take a quick second to thank some of our sponsors. Be sure to check out the GSL website, GreyerSpokaneLeague.org, for schedules, quick links to all schools, and league information. Go to GreyerSpokaneLeague.org for more information. Give back to high school activities by becoming a referee, umpire, or any sport that needs an official. To learn more, go to GreyerSpokaneLeague.com and click Get Involved. Get involved. The kids need you. The GSL needs basketball officials. No officials or kids cannot play games. Please consider joining SBO Spokane Basketball Officials. New officials make around $30 to $75 per game. Get in shape, challenge yourself, work with great people, and stay connected to the game we all love. SBO will provide training by our top officials at no charge. Please go to refspokane.com. That's refspokane.com. Showing the Ridgeline student section here. I've been crazy from start to finish in this game right now. Richardson with a throw in. Finds pay. Guard by. Guard by Espinoza. Myers trying to fight through the screen. Tries to put up the three. Pump fakes it. Puts it up. Makes it. 24 22 Seahawks. Sheridan bringing up the court. Espinoza, guard up to Adams. Adams back out to Sheridan. Myers to Espinoza. Espinoza trying to work around. Back to Sheridan. Sheridan's three. Good. 24-25 Falcons. 
Richardson bringing the ball up. Guard by Sheridan. Top screen there. Miller with a three. Won't go. Richardson with the rebound. Sheridan, tough D in the post. Finds inside. Won't go. Rebound by Crowley. Sheridan bringing the ball up. Guard by Miller. Espinoza finds to Sheridan. Sheridan pump fakes it. Out to Myers. Myers in the corner to Adams. Adams drives in. Kicks out to Espinoza. Open for the three. Won't go. Espinoza with the rebound. Sheridan trying to find something. Inside to Adams. Adams misses the layup in the paint. Richardson bringing the ball up. Guard by Sheridan. Miller starts to screen. Shuts on Sheridan. Tough D by Sheridan. Crowley with the tip. Adams inside. Foul on the play. Seguir will go to the line for two. Seguir will now go for the line for two free throws. Seahawks missed the last five free throws. Seguir breaks that streak. Got a tie game at 25. Yeah. Who is my mic on? Wait. Yes. Oh. So on or not? Mm -hmm. Oh, my bad. <laughs> Myers <laughs> outside. Back to Sheridan. Sheridan into Espinoza. Espinoza to Adam. Adam to Sheridan. Sheridan puts it up from deep. Won't go. Heidelberg with the rebound, bring it up. Myers with a tight D. Try and go for the reverse layup, won't go. Myers. Call it out on the play by Segura. And to stay caught up with the scores, download the WIAA live mobile app to follow scores, access state basketball results, and more. The app is free and available for download in the Apple and Google Play stores. That's a big three there by Sheridan. Putting the lead up by two. Falcons make Seahawks call a timeout. And winter sports are in full swing, so visit your local sporting goods store or online today to fulfill all your sporting goods needs. Dick's Sporting Goods is a proud partner of the WIAA. Clyde Woods telling it to Myers to try and bring that intensity that she's been bringing that first two quarters. Falcons try to break up the timeout. Woods may be this driving factor for this team, especially when it comes to their how they play, their intensity, and how they kind of work around their defense, how they play defense. That goes into day in and day out on how this team works. This team started winless, but now they have made it to the playoffs, to state playoffs, which is in itself impressive. On the court, we have Adam, Myers, Sheridan, Espinoza, and Crowley. For the Seahawks, we have Pei, Heidelberg, Segura, and Richardson, who is taking the ball up right now. Richardson being guarded by Sheridan. Pei with the screen. Heidelberg can't make it. Rebound by Adams. Sheridan bringing the ball up. 2.48 left in the third quarter. Myers inside to Adam. Adam trying to find someone. Finds Myers for the three. And it's Banks good. Ooh. Nice bank there by Myers. Putting the lead by five. You know, she's having a great game. Man. Oh, yeah. Great she, game today. Especially on the offensive end, but not including that defensive portion. She has been shooting at least lights out so far, to say the least. And that defense. That's right. Putting the ball out right there.
Richardson trying to make a move on Sheridan. What I see from Richardson is Richardson is a great player when it comes to trying to get to the rim. Mm -hmm. Getting that free throw line is kind of crucial for this Seahawks team. They have not been able to make those threes. If Richardson can try and make those free throws at the line, this game could be a totally different pace for the Seahawks. Definitely, especially if they can make those free throws. It would definitely help them in the long run. Absolutely. Myers trying to find someone, find Sheridan. Sheridan drives inside. Foul on the play. Two shots. Chance to make it the seven point lead for the Falcons. Make a difference in the world around you as a soldier in the U.S. Army. Hands-on training, paid education, stability, lifelong bonds. There's no opportunity like it. The U.S. Army, be all you can be. As Richardson brings the ball up, guard by Sheridan. Sheridan calls for the blocking foul. Their second of the game. Sheridan just made that crucial three in the past and just went to the line, made two. This game is now a seven-point lead. If the Seahawks don't really get a basket here, it's going to be hard for them to try and come back in that fourth quarter. Garcia trying to make something doesn't go. Crowley bringing it up the court. Pay trying to fend her. Crowley out to Adam. Adam to Espinosa. Meyer trying to drive in. Find Adams on the key. Holding foul on Rob Richardson. Crowley throwing the ball in. Minute 27 left in this game, in this quarter. Myers with a three, won't go. Crowley trying to get the rebound, doesn't get it. Richardson bringing the ball up, minute 13 left. Sheridan guarding on the perimeter. Screens trying to step there by Walker. Richardson inside to Walker, Walker puts it up, puts it in, five point game. Oh yeah. You know, Sheridan's been having a great game today, defensively and offensively. Absolutely, especially when she's coming in as a freshman. Exactly. That kind of pace can kind of maybe set up some next three years of success for this basketball team. For real. Adams with a oh, nice yeah. move. Ooh. Adams with the two. 38 seconds left in this quarter. Eight point game. Foul on the play. Charging foul by number 30, Heidelberg. Falcons get this ball back. 33 seconds left. Myers bringing it up. 30 seconds left. Out to Sheridan. Myers on the top. Espinosa kicks it back to Myers. Myers inside to Adam. Adam to Crowley. Crowley, foul on the play. These are some definitely big free throws here. If they can make both these free throws, it's a nine point game going in the fourth quarter. That's huge. Especially when it kind of sets the tone for how this game can kind of play out the rest of the way. Oh, the first one's good. Eight point game here, 16 seconds left. Lynn subbed in. Oh, yeah. Espinosa subbed out. Celebrating 25 years. Technical Sports Lighting is proud to be the official sponsor, the official sports lighting partner of the WIAA. New facilities or LED upgrade, contact us at www.sportlighting.com. Abs with a drive in, makes the layup. 11 point game going to the fourth quarter. Ridgeline blowing the game out of the water in that third quarter. Over the last few years, we've lost a large number of officials in all sports. Without officials, our kids cannot play games. Please consider becoming an official. The kids need you. New officials make $30 to $75 per game. 
get in shape, challenge yourself, work with great people, and stay connected to the games we all love. We'll provide training on top of by top officials at no charge. Please go to refspokane.com. As we're showing Clyde Woods here. Ryan has the idea of trying to maybe hold the defense at the perimeter, not force anything inside, maybe try and hold this team, the Seahawks, to the lowest scoring affair. If, they could, if the Ridgeline Falcons can score at least 13 points in this quarter, they should be fine going into the rest of this game. And really, all it's about now is just finishing it out. Absolutely. Especially when we have this kind of pace that we had, that big fast break layup that we had with like two seconds left. Yes. That kind of sets the tone for this rest of the game. Tight defense by Emma Meyer. Out on Lynn. Heidelberg will throw it in. Heidelberg five Richardson. Richardson guarded by Sh Guarded by Sheridan. Hey, puts it up, can't get it. Rebound by Adam. Myers. Trying to slow the pace down just a bit. Oh, out to Lynn. Two pointer. Won't go. Out on Crowley for the play. Throw will be by Heidelberg. Falcons in a full court press right now. Trying to like set that tone for defense, especially for the next 17, seven minutes and the 15 seconds. They cannot force anything easy. This game will be very hard to come back from. Exactly. Well, also with the full court press, it also, it also puts more pressure on the Seahawks offense. It makes them have to make those split decisions and have to like actually work it around the court, whereas just giving them the space to drive up. Absolutely. When we have to, they, when we force them to do like quick passes, quick shots, it kind of maybe speeds the tempo up to what Rizan wants to play it at. Exactly, and it forces them to make the mistakes just like what just happened. Absolutely. When our defense has done as well as they have so far, and a great pass, they're right. Askey. Lind for two. Time out for Peninsula. Forty-one twenty-eight game. High school seniors, visit wiaa.com/smartchoices to learn about the Smart Choices Scholarship Program. Three graduating seniors will each receive five thousand dollars scholarships, along with twelve one thousand scholarship one thousand dollars scholarship winners. Learn more at wiaa. Dot com slash smart choices. To those that say, I'm not good with money, we say, yet. Learn a healthier approach to managing money at Giza.com. Coming out of the timeout, we have Emma Myers, Sammy Patch, Casey Paskey, Lynn, and number 12, Grace Sheridan. Falcons still in that full court press, trying to contain the Seahawks offense. Sheridan with the tight defense. Who do you think's kind of stuck out on defense for our team? Definitely Sheridan. Oh, climbs through that screen, Sheridan. Oh. No, but definitely Sheridan. She's she's been a huge standout in our defense t today. Absolutely, especially when it comes to like guarding the point guard for the Seahawks, Richardson. Exactly. Tr trying to hold her to the perimeter, and if she gets to the paint, not force anything easy on her. Maybe get to, get her to the line. As oh. Richardson makes the easy layup, Sheridan brings the ball up with 6:20 left. Sheridan working on Richardson. Out to Lynn, back to Myers. Myers to Sheridan. 
Sheridan trying to find a teammate, finds Patch. Patch to Lynn. Lynn inside to Myers. Myers trying to work it in. Paskey driving in. Loses the ball. Oh. Oh. Tough position there for the Falcons. Couldn't get really anything going there. But that just goes to show you that the Seahawks have the defense to bring this game back. Absolutely, especially when their offense is kind of pertaining to trying to attack that paint, get those easy two points every single possession. That could stack up quickly if this Ridgeline team is not trying to make a stop. Trying to draw that contact is Richardson. Lynn bringing the ball up on fast pace. To Myers. Myers to Lynn. Sheridan to drive in. Oh. Heidelberg with a steal. Miller, guarded by Lynn. Lynn on that. Lynn with the steal. Trying to get that ball. Travel on the play. Wow. Look back on this play. Lynn with the pressure and instant hustle. And then the defender falls on Patch, and the referee calls a travel. Tough break there for the Falcons. Richardson brings the balls up, brings the ball up, defended by Sheridan. Richardson out to Miller. Miller screened by Pay. Segura trying to work around Paskey. Paskey, tough defense. Three by Pay, and the three is good. Lead down to eight. Falcons with 4.30 seconds remaining. Late foul call by the ref, but two free throws coming up. Two for Sammy. If you want to go to college, but don't want the stress of paying back college loans for years on end, the answer may be the U.S. Army. Get college tuition assistance and learn valuable skills to help you stand out in the career you pursue. That's the Army difference. The U.S. Army. Be all you can be. Pass Christian the first free throw short. Tips the second free throw now. Short again. Walker with the rebound. Walker came off the bench for this game and so far she's had four points. Two layups. As Heidelberg tries to make a deep three, just can't get to go. Tight defense by Samantha Patch. Great communication by this defense. Not allowing anyone to get open right now. They're very good at being able to hand off the hand off their offensive player onto the next person. Absolutely, I totally agree with that, especially when it comes to like how they've been playing so far. Myers trying to huck up one right now. Ah, uh, the three will not go. Heidelberg bringing the ball up. Ridgeline's no longer playing the full court press. Trying to be more a bit re more relaxed maybe because it's not really been working as much as it used to in that end of that third quarter. Yes. Seahawks kind of had a plan for it. Questionable call there. No call for the official. As Carly brings it up, finds Paskey oh. over for the pass. Seahawks ball. It's a tough throw to make. Paskey's been doing incredible in this game. I think she has around 10 points in this game. Been on the offensive glass. Is now being subbed out. Adam is now in the game. Same with Espinoza. Sheridan, Garden Richardson. Trying to get a screen there, can't get it to go. Walker with the screen. Sherry with a tough D. Won't the go with the layup. Will not go. Tough miss. Trying to get some contact there, won't get it. Out to Hiddleberg, who is this the three point short? Uh, ooh, trying to find it, can't uh. get to Adam. Heidelberg trying to bring it up. Espinosa trying to get some defense. Hiddleberg puts it up and puts it in. Four point game. Two minutes, 40 seconds left, and we have a timeout. Follow the WIAA on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook using the handle at WIAAWA. Or on TikTok using the handle at WIAA.WA. 
to get updates on the latest news, events, and state championship results. So what do you think is going through the mind of the Seahawks coaches right now? Well, right now, the thing that should go through Lexington's mind right now is kind of how can we stop this Ridgeline team and get these easy transition points. Ridgeline's kind of been sloppy so far in this fourth quarter. Get some easy steals. Hopefully the Seahawks kind of push the pace going into this next couple minutes, going to end of the game. If they can try and maybe tie this game up in the next two minutes, they should be fine. Maybe get an OT, gets maybe slip away a bit late in this game. We'll see. Give back to high school activities by becoming a referee, umpire, or any sport that needs an official. To learn more, go to greaterspokaneleague.com and click Get Involved. Get involved. The kids need you. Rally with a throw into Sheridan. Sheridan bringing the ball up. Garbari Richardson. Sheridan bout to Espinoza. Espinoza to Adam. Adam to Myers. Myers guard by Pay. Out to. Back out to Myers. Myers trying to find someone open. Back to Sheridan. Sheridan to drive in. Blocking foul. Call by Walker. Looking back at the replay. Trying to draw in. Walker kind of pushes the route at the play. Maybe he's trying to set the tone of not trying to get in the paint. Out to Sheridan. To Myers. Oh. Overthrows the pass. Two missing eight seconds left in this game. We're joined up by four. Full court press is back in effect. Sheridan being guarded. Sheridan guarding, correction. Richardson trying to work around Sheridan. Finds out to pay. Pay guard by Espinoza. Pay out to Segura. Can't make a layup. Walker can't make it in. Huge break for the Falcons there. Myers to take it up the court. Now to Sheridan. Back to Myers. Foul on the play. Crowley will get two free throws. Saving money is a lot like basketball. You won't make anything if you don't take your shot. Giza Credit Union's education-focused banking empowers students and their families to dunk whatever financial challenges come your way. Visit Giza at GESA.com to learn how to make your money earn more money. Probably misses the first free throw but makes the second one. Five point game for the Falcons. Richardson bringing the ball up. Minute 23 left. Seahawks guy gets something up right now. Maybe a quick three, maybe something in the paint. We'll see. Heidelberg tries to draw in. Adam with a foul. Hey fans, did you know that real grass keeps our earth cooler, creates oxygen, and absorbs carbon? For more information, visit grassisgood.org. Trying to open with Richardson. Richardson out to pay. Pay being guarded by Espinoza. Espinoza tight D. Myers. Helping the opponent up. Great sportsmanship on her part. Heidelberg will try and throw it in. Minute, two seconds left in this game. Heidelberg after Richardson. Richardson being guarded. Tightly there by Sheridan. Oh. Foul. Oh. Foul on the play. Foul on number 30, Crowley. Sheridan was not happy about that call. Richardson will now go to the line for shoot for two. Trying to get a three-point ball game. Far row won't, won't go. Ooh. Chance to make it a four-point game now. Yeah. 
as the timeout is called. Seahawks with the 30 second timeout. With time winding down this game, I believe the Seahawks kind of get something quick right now, especially when it comes to how they play throughout. As you see our student section right here, cheerleaders, especially when it comes to some of our great students here at Ridgeland High School. Showing their support, coming out screwed on our women's varsity basketball team as they have a chance to go into state today. attempt at free throw with 56 seconds left. Won't go. Five point game. Myers bringing the ball up. Out to Sheridan. Sheridan. Sheridan to drive up. Locking foul. Call in the play. Crowley will be throwing the ball in. Guard by Richardson. Oh, push off there. Tempers may be flaring there for Miller. Seeing the replay. Crowley getting the ball. Throwing it right into Myers. Miller just seemingly just shoves her push in the back. Just kind of sportsmanlike right there. Uh, but at the same time, though, Myers will go to line for shoot for two. Try to make it a seven point ball game. But is it? But is that the Seahawks' strategy right now? Draw the foul and then and stop the clock so that they have a possible chance of coming back. Especially if they, if our team maybe misses a few, few, a few three throws, they have a chance. To maybe the Seahawks maybe have Myers a chance to miss get this. second. Oh, Adams! Adams with the rebound. Ooh, quick foul. Foul by number thirty. Adams going back to the line. Talking to head coach Clyde Woods. Maybe taking the second teller to like breathe, relax. Two free throws here. First one. A little short. This one make it a three score, a three possession lead. Deep breath. Makes it. And good. it's good. Nothing but the net. Seven point game. 40 seconds left. Sheridan with the defense. Seahawks need a quick three here. From deep. And won't go. Won't go. Crowley with the rebound. Foul on the play. By Segura. 29 seconds left. They're Crowley for two. If they make these two free throws, the Arizona Falcons have a good chance of advancing to the next round to face the Kenwood high school team. What do you think moving on to Kenwood kind of means for our, our organization as a whole? Oh, I mean, like, it just, it just goes to show that Ridgeline Sports is here to compete and that we are on the map and that we're, even though that we are a fairly new school, we have the athletes and we can prove it. Absolutely. This is now a nine, sp a nine point game. Foul on number 14. Adams with the call. Looking like two free throws will be called. Adams walking back to the court. 29 seconds to go. Won't go. This is the first one. That one is huge. They make that one. It's an eight point game. They have a great chance of maybe advancing these next couple possessions. 
Timeout called the play. Got our awesome pet band up there. Always here to cheer us on. Absolutely. Probably one of the best pet bands you'll ever see in the district. Maybe even the state. That's right. Our band, our band has been to so many competitions since we first became a school, and they have they have either won or placed in every competition. Absolutely. Being one of the best bands out there, going out here and supporting our team, all the energy they got. Showing our dance team as well. We will also qualify for state. Nine Bridge point line to take the court. These are some of the biggest free throws we were going to have in the game. 46 37. Five fouls each, both in bonus. 29 seconds left. Make it a break for the Seahawks here. It won't go. Crowley with the rebound. Quick foul. Crowley will go to the line. Two for Crowley two. for two. <laughs> Give credit where credit's due, though. The Seahawks have been in this game from like the first few quarters. And sure, they kind of almost slipped away there, but they almost fought their way back not to a four point game. That's right, it's been a close game the whole time. Absolutely. Well, this team has given their heart out from day in and day out. Raz Crowley makes that. Crowley for the first one. 10 point game now. 26 seconds left. The Ridgeline Falcons are looking like they will go along. Crowley the makes the second. Full court pressure, then with a tight D. Screen by oh, Walker. tough screen there. Try and go for two. Gets It'll to go. go. Time running down, 14 seconds. Looks like they're trying to foul her. And they get to her. Won't do for much, though, as there's eight seconds left. And then I put game. Sheridan for two. She has to make it a 50, point game. 50 points for the Ridge on Falcons. Great showing by their defense today, though. Don't you think so? Oh, wonderful. I just hope they can continue that kind of defensive pressure going into the next game, especially when it's against Kenwood, one of the tougher, topper schools in the state. Yes. As she makes her first free throw. Second one. Won't go. Won't go. Patch with the rebound. To Myers. Three to seconds Sheridan. Left. Pay with a bit of a shove there at the end of the game, and that is it. The Ridgeline Falcons win the game 49 to 39 against the Peninsula Seahawks. Fans, thank you for your support of this 2024 WIAA slash Visa Credit Union state basketball game. For more information about WIAA state basketball, including schedules, brackets, and tickets, information. Visit WIAA.com slash basketball. Please have a safe trip home. For the benefit of those fans around you and those who may sit in your section later tonight, we ask that you clean up your area and pick, and pick up your trash. Thank you. With that being said, sign off. Thank you. Thank you.